Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Train Showcase. This time I have slightly something different. I have basically a desert rock set um, that is the background to this Savage Orc terrain set. So we have this large centerpiece, which is basically the Grand Hall, two guard towers, a plethora, I think there's seven um, little huts around, a couple over here, uh, there's one back behind there, and there's one off to the left, and then there is this... Um, bone altar over here and then like kind of these bone pieces leading as like a gateway up to it. So I will jump the camera off the tripod and we'll check everything out a little bit closer. So starting in the right corner as we do, we have the little huts over here. They're just based on some foam and then wrapped up in, um, this is actually a um, old pair of joggers that's all cut up for all of the uh, basically animal hide type of accoutrement going around everything um, it is layered in Mod Podge so it's super super hard and then we have these guard towers So the guard towers are made with a ton of different sizes of uh, dowel, all cut up different ways, and then they are wrapped, all the connections are wrapped in uh, some twine, and that took a long time. So there's two of those, they're all detailed up, they have ladders going up to both sides, got a little tight fit in here. and so. We got this centerpiece, little entrance, second level, little guy coming out the other side. There's lattice on the back. This is not attached just for shipping purposes. That guy on the side is attached. He's all roped in and there are these windows along the side. There's another window down over there, same thing. We got this second tower. Both the uh, second levels on the towers are slightly different sizes. Some of them have, I think this one has only three supports, the other one has four. More of the huts. We got these broken bones from a large creature leading up to this altar with all the dead skulls of their collected foes. And then there is just a bunch of the desert terrain to give it a little bit of feeling for the whole table. So I'll have a full set of pictures of this guy up on my Facebook and there'll be a link to that in the description below. So that gives you a closer look at this set overall. If, if you're interested in picking up a set like this or any other custom terrain, you can email me at greenleaftrain at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with a quote. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and happy wargaming.